Welcome to a new episode of my Linux driver tutorial. Today I want to show you how to parse from device tree by using a Linux kernel module. And I do all my series on a Raspberry Pi, so here I'm connected to my Raspberry Pi and I'm inside my Linux driver tutorials folder. And the first thing I will do is I will copy my first simple kernel module and create a new folder I will call device tree probe. And I will change into this. So I've, let's make a clean first. Okay, so here we have a make file to build the module and a module to play around with. And the first thing I will do is I will remove my module into dtprobe.c and I will change it in the device file as, in the make file as well. Okay, cool. And now the first thing is we want to parse a file, uh, um, we want to parse a device from the device tree. And therefore I just, I first have to create a device with a device tree overlay. So let's create a test overlay. The ending is DTS normally. And inside here we are adding the source code for our device tree overlay. So the first thing we are writing here is the version of the syntax we're using for this, and I'm using um, the syntax version 1 here. The second field must be plugin, and then we can add our overlay here. Okay, so the first thing here will be a compatible string here, so this device should be compatible with the, with the chip, which is on the Raspberry Pi, which is from Broadcom and the chip name is BCM2835. And now let's add our fragment at zero here. The target path for our device tree overlay is the um, root path of the device tree. And now let's add our overlay. Okay, so here I will add a node and I will call the node my device here. Okay, and now I can assign the device properties. So the first property will be the compatible node, so we know which with device driver this is compatible. And the vendor should be bright light and the device name is my defear. Okay. Status is always okay here. And now let's add two more um, properties. The first one is just a string and I will use the string test here. And the second property will be an integer value, my value, and I will assign a 12 to it. Uh, yeah, 12, not two. Okay, and now we can close the braces and don't forget the semicolon here. Okay, so this is our first simple device tree overlay. We're adding the device my device to the device tree. It's compatible with bright light my dev. The label is equal to test and my value is set to 12. Okay, so now let me try to compile this device tree overlay. For this, I will use the device tree compiler DTC. I'll give it the minus add option, so the input file format is DTS, the output file format is DTPO, my output should be test overlay DTPO, and my input file is test overlay.tts. Uh, DTP, not DTPO, sorry. Okay, and now I've compiled my device tree and I get this um, test overlay DTPO file here, which is a binary file. So if you look at the test overlay DTPO, I have an installed file. So never mind, this is a binary file. Okay, now after creating the um, device tree overlay, let's implement um, a Linux kernel module which will parse the device tree for this device and read out the device properties. Okay, so let me open um, let me open DT probe here and you can see this is just a simple hello world kernel module. First thing I will do is I will change the description. So now um, a simple 
the next kernel module to parse the device tree for a specific device and its properties. Long description, but never mind. Okay, and now I need to add four more includes. So the first include will be Linux slash mod device table dot h. The second include will be Linux slash property dot h. Then we will need um, platform device dot h. And last but not least, of device dot h here. Okay, and now for getting the code, I will jump here. Um, this is the famous device tree for dummies presentation. I will put the link to this presentation to the description. And here I will just copy these, uh, this code here for my kernel module. And let's insert it here. And let me remove something here. So we don't need this stuff here. We don't need this line. Okay, so this looks good. And I forgot the S here. Okay, so this up here is a list of compatible devices. And I will call it my driver, my driver IDs here. And here I can list several compatible strings here. And I want to be compatible with bright light my dev. This is the only device this driver is compatible with. And here with module device table, I assign my compatible device list to my kernel module. Okay. And here I'm creating the driver struct with all the necessary information for the driver. So I will call the driver my device driver. And here is the match table for the compatible devices again. So my driver IDs. And I will need um, a probe function, which I will call dt probe, and I will also need a remove function, which I will call dt remove. So the probe function is called on registering the driver. The remove function is called on removing the driver. And when we are using the um, functions here, we have to declare them first. So let's do this up here. Declare the probe and remove functions. So the return value of these functions is always int. So dt probe, probe, and they come with one argument from the type struct platform device pointer pdef. And this pointer is a pointer to my, um, yeah, to the device. So inside this platform device, we get all the necessary information about the device from the device tree. So we will have to use them later. Okay, so with this out of the way, let's implement the probe and the remove function. Okay, so I will go down here. So brief this function is called on loading the driver. Okay, and first thing I need are some variables. So struct device, I will create a new device called dev. And this comes from my platform device. And there is a field called dev, which contains the device itself. Then I will use a const char pointer for the label I've passed in my device tree. And I will use a integer variable for um, in my value I want to read out and for a return value I want to store. The first thing I will do is I will check for device properties. For this I will call the function um, device property present and I want to check if my device has a property called label. In in case of success, this will return a pointer not equal to zero. When it fails, it will return a zero, a null pointer here. So print k dt probe 
error um, device property label not found return minus one here and let's do the same thing for my value here okay and before we are checking this let's print out a message dt probe now i am in the probe function okay cool okay so after checking if the um, device properties are present we can now read them so read device properties okay and for this i will use the function device property read string to read the string so i need my device again i want to read the label and i want to store it in my label variable and in case the return value is bigger than zero an error occurred so let me just copy these three lines here error could not read label and in case this worked let's print out um, the label okay so let me copy these six lines here again and for the string we need the function um, device property read u32 here we have my label instead of oh my value sorry value i want to store the result in my value in the case of an error we could not read my value and here yeah let me also change this and of course here we want to print an integer and not a string okay great and in case this all worked well we can return zero to indicate everything worked fine okay so so much for the probe um callback now let's implement the remove callback and this will be quite simple this function is called on unloading the driver so remove is the function here and all we are doing here is print k dt probe now i am in the remove function and we will return zero here so we know everything worked fine okay and now here in the init function of the linux kernel module we have to load the driver so here let me add dt probe loading the driver and for this i will call the function um, platform driver driver register and i want to register my driver and in case this returns something bigger than zero an error occurred so let me copy these error lines here error could not load driver and here in the um, clean function I will unload the driver and for this I can just use the platform driver unregister function and I have to pass a pointer to my driver structure too and that's it okay so much for this kernel module now let's try to compile it okay this looks good Okay, now we first have to apply our device tree overlay and check if all the device properties were correctly um, put in. So let's do this with sudo dt overlay and then the path to our device tree overlay, which is test overlay dtbo. And now if we look into proc um, device tree, we can, and yeah, of course we need an ls here, we can see we have now here a node called my device 
So let's look into this device. So here we have compatible label, my value name and status. So let's check the label. My device label. So the label is test. Let's take a look at the name. The name is my device. So it seems the device tree overlay was um, added correctly to the device tree. And now I will try to load my kernels module. So dt probe ko. And now let's look at the kernels log. Okay, so we're seeing um, we're loading the driver. Now I am in the probe function and we have parsed the label and the my value. It worked just fine. And if I remove the driver, oh, the kernel module again, dt probe, and if I look at the kernel log again, I can see here now I'm unloading the driver and now the removing function of the driver is called. So great, we have successfully written a small device tree overlay, compiled it, and parse its device parameters with a Linux kernel module. So I think that's a good starting point for my next video, where I will actually, um, where I will add a GPIO to my Linux kernel, to my device tree overlay, and then I will initialize the GPIO via the device tree information. Okay, so that's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed the video and learned something. If you want to support my work, you can buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com slash Johannes for Linux. But I guess for now we're done, so I hope we will, I will see you in my next video. Bye.